All these broken pots. Was there, in, in lore, I've noticed a, a, a lot of these Erd trees have guardians surrounded by broken jars. In the lore, was the pot army sent against the Erd trees at some point? Is that is that how that works? Because almost every one of these has like armies of pots broken around them. Oh, it's because Link was here. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering, is this like the pots attacked the Erd tree? Or is it the kind of thing where the pots returned to the Erd tree at the end of... No, I don't think that's right. Because Alexander talks about like the fact that he's going to like live forever. He's going to learn forever or whatever. So I don't, I don't know if the pots like have an ending. Do they? The tree eats dead people? The tree, the tree, I think the tree eating dead people is how they describe the, the, the cycle of rebirth in the world. So I, I don't think, I don't think the tree actually like is fed the remains. I think when someone dies and they turn into ether, that, that the, that the premise is that they're being absorbed back into the tree when they disappear. I don't think it's like there's a mouth <laughs> that, that the bodies get pushed into. I don't think that's the situation. Yeah. And the reason I'm I, the reason I'm saying this is because by assuming that you would then bring into question why are the pots physically moved next to the tree. You can see bodies in the tombs getting absorbed by the roots. Okay, but the pots are people soup. They aren't bodies. What I'm trying to do is, is understand the function and the purpose of the pot warriors in the in the lore, like how that works. It, I, I mean, it, there's a very good chance that we just don't know, and then and they never tell us. But you know, there's also a chance that maybe it is somewhere, which is kind of cool. Uh, so now we're at the Albanac village. Um, I'm gonna go. Do we still not have the? Yeah, we still have the map. Where? Okay, you know what? No, I'm gonna look on this because I don't want to just run around here for. Six hours. Well, I mean, I kind of... I also have somewhat of a goal right now. So let me pull up my big ER map. And let me hide everything and show dungeons. And we are now going... Oh! Okay, so I think I was way too much north. We're, we're like... Yeah. Okay. We're like we're like way. I, yeah. I thought it was on the west wall. It's on like the south wall. Okay. Well, that explains that. It's <clears throat> northwest. Yes. It's north. It's north. It's northwest. Should we stay next to the wall? Here, though is there anything up here we want oh, oh oh this is where we got the uh wait no it's not no it's not we haven't we haven't been on this side yet no we haven't been on this side okay hold up we gotta kill and loot this camp because i don't know what camp this is unless is this the one we came down from the top no that's this little road Do 
dude's not messing around. I think dying to firebombs is probably like the best thing that could happen to these girls. Probably see it as a blessing or something. Is this the Spanish Inquisition? Yes, it is. It absolutely is. Okay. Okay. Don't know what that is, but I like the sound of it. Fire spermy. Dappled? Oh, I thought it said dapper for a second. I was like... Is that some really good looking cured meat? Interested. Hmm. Alright, that up here. Ballista bolt. Fun. These are like baby versions of the Kalu guys. Still rude as balls. Still full of gold poop. Will you play the Fountain of Youth? I think I did a sponsored stream for that game. It, that's the survival game, right? It was pretty good. I mean, it depends on like what the full game offers and how interesting it is and things like that. But yeah, we'll see. I can't bring up my map. There we go. Oh, it's an ever jail. Um, Chad, how are we feeling about this ever jail? Elden Ring is the most overrated game in gaming history. I, I completely see it. If you're not a Souls-like fan, I completely see it. I see why you'd say that. All right, let's see. Mm, we don't have our physic. We gotta be careful. If this guy bleeds us, like, that's gonna hurt a lot. Of the fell god. Is that a spell? I'm assuming? Okay. <clears throat> cool.
Cool. Applause, please. All right. If I, we can use fire spells. Absolutely. Fire, lightning, holy. That's kind of like what we're doing this round. Fire, lightning, holy. Let's go here. Hope you've had a great morning so far. I've had an awesome morning. Hope you guys have had a great morning too. Miss Chaotica with a $50 tip to the mod team. My monthly uh, tip to the mods. Thank you so much, Miss Chaotica. That is a huge amount of support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, going in. Dude, I'm hoping by the end of the uh, the stream today, maybe we'll be caught up with our other run, which would be great. Oh, man, I said to switch swords. It's not a faith weapon? Oh, I was so hoping it was going to be a faith weapon. Bummer. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Okay. You could enchant it to sacred, couldn't you? Maybe. Maybe. Probably. A lot of death there. It's a strength dex weapon, yeah. So I mean any we're we're mainly looking for strength faith weapons, and that is very much a strength de it's a quality weapon, so that's not quite what we're looking for. This run. Not optimal, I should say. Might be fine for leveling. I love the wing scythe. You know, I mean, we could use a wing scythe this playthrough. Like once we get our faith high enough, like a wing scythe and a shield, that that could be kind of badass actually. I was thinking about that earlier. I think we already got it, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, I think I banked it, I banked it. I don't know why I bank stuff. I was like, cool, let me use the banking stuff. And then when I put the last item in, I was like, why am I using this? Items don't weigh anything. Why not just carry around everything? It's so much easier. Sorry, collateral damage. Collateral cheapage. Looking for you. All right. If this wasn't a minimum death run, Co, I'd recommend killing the gargoyle in front of the beastman cleric, as the gargoyle black blade is just a great faith strength sword. But there's no question you will die a lot fighting him. Oh, that's a bummer. Why would you play Scythe with a shield and not a spear or heavy thrusting sword? You absolutely could. And in fact, this sword right here is kind of what that exact is right now. Um, it's just all depending on like what, how you want to play. Yep. That's the beautiful thing about Elden Ring in games like this. You can pretty much play it just how you want. It may not be the strongest build, but it's almost always going to be viable. At least. So I think the idea of a giant Scythe and a shield is kind of cool. Um, a giant scythe and a, and a spear 
absolutely is something we can do. If I find a really good spear, we might do that. We found a couple okay spears so far. Um, this one arguably is the coolest, and I probably would be using this if it didn't have a 30 strength requirement. Like that's a that's a huge amount of strength um, that I just don't have right now. But I mean, that might be something we use in the future. Yeah. I haven't decided yet if I want to take this build to, to 30 strength, but if I do, that spear could be awesome. Only 20 strength needed for two-handing. I have decided that I want to use a shield this run. Our other run is is not shield. This this run is shield. So I want to one-hand whatever we use. Blasphemous Blade, once you get to Rikard, could be cool. That is that is on the list. The Blasphemous Blade is on the list, for sure. To check out, that is. I just got prison shank. Wow. All right. That man just shanked me. Hmm. Counterattacks unique to thrusting weapons. Okay. What are those? What are what are counterattacks unique to thrusting weapons? It's not, it's not a guard counter. Oh, is that is that all it is? It's just a guard counter with a spear? Oh. Okay. I wasn't aware that was a thing. Wait, you want me to go down first? I'm not going to go down first. I'm going to go down second. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, we're back at the beginning. I just did a big circle. Hold on. Coming from YouTube to drop the prime tack says very bad gaming. Well, thanks, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate the prime tax. <laughs> and thank you for your 10 months, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Is rapier a thrusting weapon? Yes. Yep. Uh, rapier, spear, some swords. Like S stock. I think is a thrusting sword. Um. You. Favorite Elden Ring boss? Uh, ask me at the end of this playthrough. I need to get reintroduced to a lot of them. Nice, whoever did that. Thank you. Thank you. That was a huge mistake. It's part of the problem with that. So this game has thrust slash weapons. What, which is better for some types of enemies? Uh, d different weapon damage types are different versus different types of enemies. So like, um, you know, elemental, of course, uh, blunt is much better versus skeletons and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, that stuff's absolutely in this game. But it varies per uh, enemy, of course. Does Kono about the trick with the glowing rocks? I do. Thank you.
Am I, am I falling into a fight? No. Okay. Smithing stone four? Wait, what's the boss down? Uh-oh. Um, hmm. Not bad for, for a rock snail. Just saying, that was pretty impressive. Okay. Almost got us. It was close. Close. Fell tarnished. What do you want? I told the all hearing brute that I possess no such The all hearing brute. Or have you come to take more from me? That'd be our, our man back at the uh, not enough. back at the manor. Okay, Oberon, yeah. <laughs> Oberon. Uh, show the secret medallion. Oh. Do you speak true? So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. <sighs> then I have no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena. An Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all-hearing brute, I hope that you will forgive me. Did we get the tree spear? No, I don't think we did. And I think I know where we need to go to get it. So we'll go get that after this. Thank you. Hmm. The medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? I must go back. There is something I must do. Even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Lobo. Will you show me the way? To the land of Mikola's Halig Tree. If you accept, I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts of the medallion's other half. Your request. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the Forbidden Lands, north of the Earth Tree, in Castle Sol, on the mountaintops of the Giants, accessible by the Grand Lift of Rold. Then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. My faithful wolf. My better half. I will go with the tarnished. So that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. Call upon me when needed, and I will fight at your side. I didn't understand this part. Is the wolf dead? It's a little like I'm I'm not I don't quite understand the lore. It's not breathing and it doesn't look alive. So like her spirit summon rides the wolf. So he's already dead. Okay. I wonder I wonder Oh Gideon killed it. Oh Gideon, you jerk. she a good summon? Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, I think she is. We'll, de we'll definitely use her. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. All right, so we have progressed her quest um, that we are all set here. 
to keep moving through this. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's uh, let's see. I think we need to at this point. Let's go get that spear we were talking about, which I think is right here. I think the spear is there. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna ride on down there. That was Shadow Hearts VA. Really? That's awesome. I did not know that. That's super cool. Okay, we're gonna follow our marks here. So we're gonna go one, and then we're gonna ride to two. That's three. Oh, two's already down there. Okay. One, two, and then we'll know where we are. Okay. Great. <laughs> Fink says, uh, Fink says, apparently I have a type for voices and it's her. <laughs> I think lots of people agree with you. We've been killing many things without dying today. Tried a blood sword. Decided we weren't going to get there yet. Maybe. Pretty much. Yep. This is this has been the uh, the account of the day so far. Still gotta find my girl a grape. Hmm. Oh, what is this? What the heck is this? Oh no. Come out one and all from the darkness underground, and let us offer unto the maiden our eyes. Grapes? Mmm, grapes. Mmm, delicious. We have a good amount of souls, and we have a good amount of soul. Uh, oh, look, a dead Albinar. Al Albinar. Albin Albinarak. A dead silver bro. Oh, wait, no, that's not. Is that an. Is that an. Maybe. It looks kind of like it, but its feet aren't disappearing. Maybe it's a different one. No, I don't think so. I think it's just one of those old dudes. Yeah. Oh. Squiddy, thank you so much. And that is a cool message, man. Best to you, bud. Right on, man. Right on. 